Hey everybody, it's Miss Brewster here with episode two of Miss Brewster's class for the school year 2020-2021. Um, this is a little bit different than my first welcome video I made. This is actually a Screencastify video, so you should see my Google screen here and all of my tabs up at the top, and you should see me down at the bottom. So basically i'm going to be doing a lot of these informational videos up front um, so that you can watch these as soon as i get them published um, now through the first um that first half week of school and it's going to be a lot of information coming at you so right as of right now screencastify will only allow me to do five minute videos um, and I think that's fine. We can get a lot of information in five minutes and then we'll move on to uh, something else. The only thing is I tend to talk a lot. So there might be a lot of these. Um, and I will, of course, link them on the YouTube channel and the, uh, the social media pages. They'll be in my Canvas slideshows as well. So let me um, explain to you what Canvas is going to look like for you. I'm going to work off the assumption that you guys know how to use Canvas. You used it last year in seventh grade. If that does not apply to you and you don't know how to use Canvas, um, let me know. Send me an email or a message somehow, and, and we can do a one-on-one -on -one and kind of get you called up to speed with Canvas. If you're new to the school or if you have uh, just unfamiliar with the program, I can get you called up to speed. So... If we go over here, you're going to have your dashboard. And right now, today is August the 2nd, and your classes are not published yet. They're not going to be published until the first day of school, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. You might be able to see them sooner. But for right now, um, you know, you, you can't see your classes yet. So I'm just going to give you kind of an inside view on what social studies is going to look like and you will have all of your courses up here all six plus your homeroom and your eagle hour don't quite worry about those yet i'll i'll do more um in-depth videos on what to do for that so right now we're just gonna do an overview of canvas and it could look a little bit different for each teacher you guys know that teachers do things differently um but it's it's going to be similar with this virtual learning um, canvas environment when you come to social studies class in canvas this is what you're going to see and this is what we will call um the the front page bulletin board, or, you know, I might end up just calling it the, the bulletin board. Okay. So this is like pretty important, um, spot because it's going to have, uh, links to all of the things that you're going to need, um, for our class. And some of them are self-explanatory, like the meet me page. And if you watched my video that I just made a few minutes ago, um, it's linked here and just some information about me this will of course take you back to the home bulletin board page and here are links to all of the ways that you can contact me this will automatically send me an email an appointment i'll do an in-depth video on that later um, the website and social media pages so that's just you can um, look at that and i'll try to embed this in my website as well so if you want to check this out sooner uh, before you have access to Canvas. Um, I'll, I'll try to do that as well. Okay. Important links, you know, just some basic stuff. Website, calendar, power school. Okay. Back to bulletin board. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Um, and it's telling me right now that Screencastify will be ending my video in about 20 seconds. So what we'll do for this, uh, the remainder of our time is let you know that I am going to do another video. This will just be a continuation of part two, or really it's episode three. So I'll see you soon.